Hi there, Paul Thompson here from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you Spitfire Studio Brass Professional. This is a very detailed brass library recorded in the dry acoustic of Air Studio One by Grammy Award winning engineer Simon Rhodes. There is a complimentary walkthrough for Spitfire Studio Brass linked below, so I won't cover the same material as in that, and we'll look at some of the extra material that's included in the professional package. So I've started with Trumpets at two, our two player patch. Um, I've put up the close mics and the outriggers as well as the tree. There's a huge variety of sound that you can get with these microphones. So let's start by just checking out the staccatissimo, the shortest staccato sound with the different mics so you can hear what the options are. So the character of these microphones, you've got your close microphones, you've got two different Decca trees, um, one of which has a slightly more inclusive sound, more room sound in the sound. Um, you've got your ambient mics, which are the most distant, and then you've got the outriggers, which give you the widest possible sound. There are two solo trumpets with very different characters. which gives you the option for really matching the kind of performance style of the instrument to the part that you're trying to play. There's also a fabulous piccolo trumpet recorded in the package. and also a rather lovely bass trumpet. And the short notes are really bitey on this one. We have fantastic solo tenor trombone and bass trombone. We also have a fabulous contrabass trombone as well to really extend the bottom range of the trombone section. Also played muted. And with some really great punchy staccatos. Before we go all the way into the bass, let's jump back to the horn section and I can show you what's in there. So we have our horns at four. So massive dynamic range. If we play some chords with them, you can really hear that beautiful choral sound at the bottom of the dynamic range. And then as you move up through the range, you really get into the lip bleed sessions, as we called them. So we spent an entire day working on these really punchy, loud notes with the players so we could get a really lovely, clean, powerful sound um, and really kind of consistent across the range. That extends into the short notes as well. You've also got the softer notes in there as well. Now we've got two very different horn solo performances. So here's the first one. Uh, 
and we've even got vibrato, um, a very, very delicate vibrato on this one. Quite unusual in a horn performance, but it is used. And here's our horn solo too. So here we have a slightly more edgy, aggressive sound. And again, it just gives you options to pick the right sound for the particular melody line that you're writing. We heard the tuba on the other walkthrough, so let's have a quick listen to the contrabass tuba. beautiful euphonium. And with the soft euphonium longs you can get again a really lovely choral sound. They're great agile staccatos. Patches we've been loading so far have the most commonly used articulations just right there, ready for you, easy to load and play. If you delve into the extended techniques folder and um, we'll load up the tenor trombones at two, um, you can see that we have more stuff in here, more different playing styles and sounds. So for uh, tenor trombones at two, for example, here we've got the long notes and the muted long notes. We have flutter, cuivre, sforzando, um, different length swells, which can be changed with the variation slider. And muted swells. Marcato, tenuto, uh, staccatissimo. These are the three lengths of our short notes. Uh, and then a muted staccato. Um, but we've also got decorative techniques as well so two patches for each instrument and in here we have the muted flutter tongue uh, our sforzando muted again and we've got some great rips and muted falls and muted falls we've got a really fabulous multi-tongue patch which gives you double triple and quad tonguing with a very tight end but also with a slightly more fanfare type end. So here's the tight end double and with a longer end and you just play harder to get that end. And then we can use the variation slider to get the different types of multi-tongue as well. Now, if you really want to dive into really sculpting your short notes to get them exactly the way you want, you can go into the time machine section of the library. And here we have all of the short notes for each instrument grouping. And they're presented with the time machine ability to really stretch and tighten them up and also slightly elongate them. So checking out the bass trombone staccatissimo, and we can use this stretch controller to really tighten up the notes or elongate them. So in the middle is the default, and that's the actual recorded note. If we move the stretch control to the right, then the notes become shorter and shorter. And if we move it to the left, the notes become progressively longer. So you can use this in performance to really give yourself control over the exact length of those short notes. And if you set this to a MIDI controller, then you can play with one hand while changing the length with the other hand in real time. It's extremely useful. So just for a bit of fun, I've loaded up trumpets at two, uh, tenor trombones at two, bass trombones at two, and horns at four. And all of these I've set up with the mics and just set them on the staccato. And let's hammer away and see what happens.
So a little bit silly to load them all up and just play, but you can hear, you can get a rough idea of how they're gonna sound as you layer them up in your own track. It's an incredibly punchy, tight, dynamic sound, um, really, really kind of in your face. And it's a combination of the great sound of brass in Air One, um, which is a really beautiful room with a lot of kind of glass panelling and wood. So it's a great combination acoustically, um, but also some great choices from Grammy winner Simon Rhodes uh, on the microphone selection as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been interesting. And as I mentioned before, below you'll find linked the other walkthrough for Spitfire Studio Brass, um, which goes into a little bit more detail on some of the instruments we haven't covered in this one, but shows you the kind of differences between the two packages and what kind of things you get in each package. I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Thank you very much for being with us and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.